Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you through the basics of Lucky Zone in Dragon Nest C. Now, without further ado, let's start. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is Lucky Zone? Lucky Zone is the temporary main source of gold replacement for Mission Bulletin Board Quest, while the game developers are remodeling the structure of Mission Bulletin Board Quest. You can check which stages contain a Lippus Lucky Zone using the icon in the upper right of the screen. Each week, three dungeon stages are selected to host a Lippus Lucky Zone. The reset for these three dungeon stages happens every Saturday at 9am GMT plus 8. Lucky Zone farming is essential for farming Kilo's armor craft and enhancement materials. There are three main Kilo's materials that you can get when you've cleared a Lucky Zone, and those items are Kilo's armor fragments, Joy's sorrows of Kilo's, and Thread of Intellect. There are five types of Kilo's armor fragments depending on the armor part. These are Life Kilo's helmet, Eastern Kilo's upper body, Don Kilo's lower body, Jungle Kilo's glove, and Abyss Kilo's shoes fragments. Each type drops on a specific dungeon stage entrance region. Joys and Sorrow of Kilos, and Threat of Intellect drops on all dungeon stages regardless of the region of the dungeon you've cleared. Here is the chart of every type of fragment drop for every dungeon stage entrance region. I will show you where these dungeons are located for each stage entrance region. Life Kilos Helmet Fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Anu Arendelle. Eastern Kilos Upper Body Fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Radoms and Streets of Red Lotus Palace. Don Kilo's lower body fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Merka's Heart and Merka's Port. Jungle Kilo's gloves fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Riverwort Wharf. Abyss Kilo's shoe fragments drop on all of the dungeon stages of Hermalt Port and Foothills of the Black Mountain. If you want to download the images I've just shown to you, I've put the download link down in the video description, so be sure to check it out to serve as your reference when you don't know how to find a certain dungeon. You might ask, how do I do Lucky Zone? First, check which stages contain a Lippus Lucky Zone using the icon in the screen's upper right corner. You can check it here if you're farming for a certain Kilo's armor fragment. Suppose you've cleared a dungeon stage that is not featured as Lucky Zone on that week. In that case, you will not get the special Lucky Box reward that contains special rewards, including extra craft and enhancement material for Kilo's equipment. Important note, Kilo's craft and enhancement materials are only dropped from Labyrinth 1 and above, but the recommended labyrinth for optimal farming of Kilo's armor materials is Labyrinth 11 and above. I'm currently farming for the Kilo's upper body fragment, so I'll check if there is a Red Lotus Palace or Radom's dungeon stage that is featured as a Lucky Zone dungeon stage. As you can see, Great Arena is featured as Lucky Zone for this week. And just as I showed you a while ago, Eastern Kilo's upper body fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Radoms and streets of Red Lotus Palace. Okay, I will show you how Lucky Zone works, so I will try to clear Great Arena, if you want to see my gears, you can check this video yourself. Okay, for this stage, I pick the Labyrinth 11 difficulty. Important note, upon entering a dungeon stage, you will consume 1500 fatigue. When using Vigor mode, you will consume 4,500 fatigue. Your maximum daily fatigue is set to 6,000 only. You can do Lucky Zone 4 times per day, assuming you don't turn on the Vigor mode. If you decide to use Vigor mode, you can only do 2 Lucky Zone runs, one with Vigor mode on, and one normal run without Vigor. Upon entering a Lucky Zone dungeon stage, you will be prompted with a Lucky Zone banner on your screen, stating that you're in a dungeon featured as a Lucky Zone. After you've cleared the final stage, as expected, the boss will drop Joy and Sorrows of Kilos, Thread of Intellect, and most importantly, the Kilos upper body fragments. After clearing the stage, you'll also be prompted with the special reward banner, and the Lucky Box reward will show up. Upon opening the reward chest, Kilo's materials are also dropped in addition to the current stage rewards. This means you'll get an additional joy and sorrows of Kilo's, Thread of Intellect, and most importantly, the Kilo's upper body fragments. Here's also the other Lucky Zone chest reward that you might get. First is the Kilo's Equipment plus 20 selection box, which can only be dropped from Labyrinth 15 or above with a low drop chance. Kilo's Equipment plus 20 selection boxes are tradable. So you can sell this in the trading house if you already got a full plus 20 set of Kilo's armor. Next is the Balk of Heart, 
Muerto's orb, and Brynhild's ice fragments, but you can only get one out of three of these fragments, and these Ida's orb, and Brynhild's ice fragments, but you can only get one out of three of these fragments, and these items can only be dropped from Labyrinth 11 or above. Next is the Winter Gem, which can only be dropped from Labyrinth 11 or above. Don't worry if this item didn't drop on your Lucky Zone runs, because the drop chance for this item is low. This item is used for crafting Dreamy Moon Forest Dual Jade Hammer. You can sell Winter Gem in the Trading House if you need the gold, but I recommend selling it if you're a new player. Next is the Gold Goblin Coin, but this item has a very low drop chance so don't expect much. Next is the Hocules Enhancement Heraldry Flowering and Full Bloom Stamp. Next is the Red Lotus Palace Treasure. Just like Winter Gem, they have a low drop chance, and these items can only be dropped from Labyrinth 13 or above in the Lucky Zone dungeons of Red Lotus Palace and Radoms. Next is the Frontal Breakthrough Heraldry Pouch, Adventure Key, Bubble Coral, Moonstone, Gold, BST Points, and Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye are only dropped from Labyrinth 1 and above. Please refer to this drop table to see all of the other possible item drops when doing Lucky Zone dungeon stages. Beside the Lucky Zone chest reward, you can also get these items upon killing the boss Lucky Zone dungeon. High grade Garnet and Guild quest items are a sure drop, but for unidentified Goddess Heraldry and Sealed Chaos Expedition Heraldry, they have a low drop chance for low Labyrinth difficulty. You might ask that, what are the gold drop rates for every Labyrinth stage? Here's the chart for the gold drop for every Labyrinth stage upon opening the Lucky Zone chest. Dungeon Invader also drops some items depending on the Labyrinth's difficulty. Here are the item drops upon killing a normal invader. First is Spring Gem, which only drops at Labyrinth 11 or above. Next is Balkiv's Power, Muerto's Magic, and Brynhild's Mask, but you can only get one of these three items. Next is Invader's Horn, this item has a low drop chance and only drops from Labyrinth 6 and above. The rest items are Gasuk Box, Lapis, and Moonstone. Important note, Moonstone drops on all dungeon floors and has a low drop chance. For the Tomb Invader, here are the item drops upon killing Tomb Invader, also known as Resting Place. If you kill a Tomb Invader at Labyrinth 15 or above, they will drop a certain amount of gold. There's also a chance that a Tomb Invader will drop a shiny white feather pouch at Labyrinth 11 or above. You can sell this in the Trading House. Next is Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon class specific skill Jade. And the other items are Dream, Blood Moon, and Forest Fragments. That's all for this guide, I hope this guide helped you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the comment section below.